to explore a bit here. So, what's over here? Oh, hello. And there we go. We got a key. We got a key. And we got some pottery and uh, a rune looking thing, I think. Some arch. So, let's do here. Ooh. Oh, nothing to do here. It's just. The hot spots in this game are so weird. Oh my word, is that is that surround sound audio for the clock? No way. Oh, it is too. That's amazing. All right, let's talk to Miss Mr. Richards and Mrs. Flowers, I believe. Welcome home, Elena. My, how the summer has flown. Tell me, how was your trip to Europe? Been to Europe, eh? So that's what Bonnie's been bubbling about the past few days. I don't suppose you came across anything of supernatural interest while you were there, did you? For heaven's sake, Gary. It's bad enough that you have Bonnie handling all those psychically charged things. Gary. I'm hurt, Mrs. Flowers. It was just a harmless question. And do you honestly believe that I would allow Bonnie to access anything potentially dangerous? You know my feelings on the matter. We don't need to discuss it here. You got back, just in time for the art gallery's grand opening. What do you think of it? The Riviera was wonderful, but exhausting. I'm ready to drop right now, but I'd rather die than miss the party. You see, Gary, she would rather die than miss the party, and you would rather die than be here. <laughs> oh, it's a matter of temperament, Mrs. Flowers. I'm a researcher. I'm accustomed to being alone. And you, you spend your days tending the cemetery, another solitary pursuit. But it's not a solitary pursuit. Not only do I have the dead to keep me company, but others, like Elena, often stop by. Which reminds me. You should be sure to stop by the cemetery now that you're home. It's particularly lovely at this time of year. Okay. Uh, it's particularly dead this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So she's going to be at the cemetery, so that's good to know. I'll try to stop by before school starts, Mrs. Flowers. I promise. If you'll excuse me, I need to go find out when Aunt Judith wants to leave. Of course, child. Give your aunt my best, will you? And I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Cool. So we actually have one more person to talk to before we talk to Aunt Judith again. That is our best friend, Caroline Forbes. And Mikhail Romanoff, of course. Why, Mikhail, look what the cat dragged in. Elena, dear, how sweet of you to dash right over from the plane. And you didn't even take time to tidy up. I'm flattered. Wonderful. It was so nice of you to join me for the christening of my humble art gallery. It looks like you must have been working pretty hard up to the last minute yourself, Caroline. Oh I guess beauty is a small sacrifice for art, right? Oh <laughs> what would you know about sacrifices, Elena? You always get what you want. But Mikhail has taught me that true beauty in art or in life is worth sacrificing anything for. Even friends. Okay. And he nods his head, big man. Then it's a pity you don't have many friends to sacrifice, isn't it? <laughs> I have all the friends I need, Elena. At least the only ones that are important. Isn't that right, Mikhail? Uh, pardon me? Oh. I, I'm sorry, Caroline. I, I didn't hear what you said. He is so bored by said, her. Isn't it important to have friends? Friends are always important. Especially when one has no family and is new to an area. But please, tell me, who is this lovely creature? A friend of yours, no doubt. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name is Elena Gilbert. Gilbert? I have heard that name once before tonight. Uh, no matter, it will come to me. Uh, but please... <laughs> I am no sir. Huh. Where I am from, that is a title reserved for czars and nobles, not shopkeepers. Please, allow me to introduce myself. I am Mikhail Romanov, proprietor of 
this establishment. Oh, wow. Don't let his modesty fool you. Mikhail has some of the most amazing contacts in the art world. It's been an honor working so closely with him these last few weeks. Oh. Such contacts are merely human, Caroline. A means to an end. The art is what is important. Oh man, okay. Um Where did you find all of this beautiful artwork, Mr. Romanoff? This area of your country is rich with antiques and undiscovered artists. Speaking of undiscovered artists, have you had a chance to talk to Mrs. Flowers, Mikhail? <laughs> Well, there are so many people here, I hardly know whom I have met. <laughs> and I'll be happy to take you over and introduce you. You do have that whole other wing to fill, you know. Of course, you are right. Always looking out for the welfare of the gallery. <laughs> ah, now I remember. Uh, please, tell your Aunt Judith and your charming sister that I would be happy to join your family for dinner some evening. But now, you must excuse us, dear Elena. Duty calls. Uh-oh. They are going to make out, even though Caroline's been left alone here. Cool. Well, let's go talk to Aunt Judith and see when she wants to leave. Oh, Elena, I was just talking to a new teacher, Damon Smith. He seemed very interested in meeting you, but uh, I don't know where he's gone. We literally just met him. Like, what? A new okay. teacher? I hope he's replacing Mr. Tanner. Did he say what class he was teaching? Yeah, he did, actually. Bell's Church is lucky to have Mr. Tanner. I think Mr. Smith said that he would be a student biology teacher. Oh, my word, this is painful. We, ju we just talked about this. A student teacher? Is he younger than Mr. Tanner, at least? <laughs> Someday, when you have kids of your own, you'll appreciate age a little more. Okay, <laughs> Um, I have not plans to be old and gray, ever. I have no plans to be old and gray, ever. <laughs> I think you've picked up too much of Bonnie's romantic nonsense, Elena. Why don't you go talk to your friends while I go find Margaret? It's time we got her home to bed. Whoa, what? Oh, that sounds like Margaret! Quick, Elena, help me find her! What on earth? Oh my god. Oh my word. What is that? What is that? Oh! What? What? Oh my word? It's very late, honey, and the doctor says there's nothing we can do right now. Why don't you go on home? I'll stay with Margaret tonight and... You can come and see her again in the morning. Oh my word, what happened? What happened to her, Aunt Judith? What was that thing that attacked her? Oh, it looks like something bitter. We <gasps> can't be sure what it was. Probably a vampire, isn't it? The doctor said it could be a wild cat or something. Margaret's lost some blood, but nothing life-threatening. The doctor says she'll be up and around again in no time. Don't worry. Okay. See you later, Aunt Judith. Try to get some sleep tonight, Elena. I'm sure Margaret will be up and awake again in the morning. God, I really do hope so. Uh, sometimes when you right-click, you cannot spin faster. Oh, Caroline, hi. Oh, oh, you can also, yeah, go up and down in this game, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's kind of a necessary feature, and you'll find out later why. You Gilberts certainly know how to close down a party, don't you? Started teaching her young, huh, Elena? I guess you wouldn't want your little dynasty to end, now would you? Now that is not fair. But second, why are you off to the left rather than, like, a normal... <laughs> oh, oh, it's just weird, isn't it? Okay, um... Why are you being so nasty, Caroline? It's not Margaret's fault she got hurt. Yeah, what the heck? Maybe not. But it's your fault she came to the party in the first place. And she had no business snooping around. So thanks to both of you, the grand opening was ruined. Aw, Muffin. Excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt, but this is a hospital. Could you please keep it down? It's a little late. This is not Caroline I'm talking. Sorry. This whole thing has just been so upsetting. <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to faint. Is there somewhere I could um, 
lie down or something. 